Hello clever people and welcome to my review for Brahms the Boy 2. So this film is a sequel to the 2016 film The Boy which came out and it wasn't a huge hit but it made decent money. I think it had a 10 million dollar budget and it made around 80 million worldwide and that's enough of a project profit margin to incite a sequel. The first The Boy is a movie I saw about four years ago so I don't remember it super well but I thought it was okay. It had some creepy elements and the ending was very unexpected and not well set up but still kind of spooked me out a little bit so there were parts of The Boy that I did like but I don't think that it's a great movie and it definitely wasn't memorable. And this sequel really doesn't have anything to do with the first movie. It's following a completely new set of people. There's this family that just underwent a very traumatic experience where burglars tried to rob the house. And because of that, one of the children, or the, the boy, um, the, the son of the family, doesn't talk anymore. He just writes on paper. So they decide to take a family vacation, and in doing so, he ends up finding the boy, the doll. And they form a very close relationship that starts affecting the whole family. The first The Boy had some decent elements to it. As I said earlier, it's a somewhat creepy movie. So seeing a sequel like this stomp over everything that the first movie had was really disheartening. I did not like Brahms The Boy 2. I did not go in expecting a good movie and I did not get a good movie. This was just a really crappy horror movie and it's not not the worst. It's definitely not like the worst movie of the year, but it's ha it's similar to Fantasy Island in the fact that its Rotten Tomatoes score is like dangling between the really low double digits and the single digits, and I can understand why with this one. It's very easy to hate. There's so many poor elements in this movie, particularly the acting. I know that these actors are experienced, and I know that they probably wouldn't be in the movie industry if they were, you know, absolutely terrible, the worst that you could get. But I, I can't imagine any other actors doing doing not better than them. It, 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 it's baffling to me. They didn't act like human beings. They really, the line delivery was just so awkward. It didn't fit at all. And I don't think that that's entirely their fault because this is also a terribly written script. And mostly in the way that it deals with parenting, Downhill is a movie recently that had some pretty bad parenting in it, um, but this one, it felt like some of the bad parenting decisions in Downhill were like throughout the movie. The mom is constantly making these really weird decisions and so is the dad that just don't make sense and don't feel real. And because of that, the characters that are the lead characters in the movies that you should be invested in don't feel real at all. And the fact that this movie did, almost has nothing to do with the first movie is absolutely terrible. And honestly, they do kind of embrace that in the credits of the movie. I mean, you already saw the whole entire thing. So if you're a fan of the first one and then you wanted to go see a sequel and it had nothing to do with it, it's too late then. But in the end credits, it said screenplay by and it said the screenwriter's name. And then it said based on characters created by and then it said the same screenwriter's name because the same screenwriter wrote the first and second one but it just goes to show that this movie kind of knew that it had nothing to do with the first one but spending half of the movie with me trying to figure out how it ties into the first one it hurt my brain and it really just felt like i was wasting my time and outside of that, it's just a really crappy horror movie with no scares in it that are effective. There's not even enough jump scares in this movie, I think, to make the people who love crappy horror movies enjoy this. It's got terrible characters, a terrible script. Overall, this is just really boring, and I definitely don't recommend that you go out and see it. I will give Brahms The Boy 2 a 2.5 out of 10. All right, that concludes my review for The Boy 2. So, what are your thoughts on this movie, or what do you think of the first one? Are you as mad as me that it didn't tie in? Comment in the comments section below and let me know. I am Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.